What's up? What's up? How you doing? Give me a second. Let me get my life. Let me let me get right. Give me a second. Ugh. Okay. What's up, y'all? What's poppin' y'all? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling? So, this video is gonna be a little bit different because this video is a part of Be A More Diaries where I give videos or just talk about business related stuff, creative related stuff. Hopefully dope montages to actual like raw kinda like journal diary type of shit to like little cute lists and things like that so since i now work for myself and i work from home um and when i say work from home i do everything everything from home from production um meaning like making my products to shipping packing inventory um it's just a lot that goes on when it comes down to my business but it all get done from the house and i wanted to do this video because i think there's tons of like must-haves for all of us separately like if you work from home whether you work for yourself or not if you work from home there's probably certain things that you feel like you need at home that kind of make your day just a little bit easier for you or make your work a little bit easier for you so i just want to talk about some of the things that make work a lot easier for me when i work from home and also the things that i just must have when i work from home and disclaimer this is not things that you may need this is just things that make my work so much easier and just make being creative a lot easier for me so one is just a creative space in itself to have a place in my home where i can work take care of orders a space that keeps me organized a space that keeps me inspired a space that keeps me motivated a space that's kind of like vibed out and just keeps me just intrigued and just happy to go in there i just think having a space in your house is just hella important outside of that the aesthetic of everything in your creative space like what heightens your creativity what makes you feel good so like having art on the wall and having my plants and having my fish tank and things like that all just adds to the motivation and the inspiration and just to feel good i love going to my office every morning because it actually feels good it feels homey and i'm always changing it around i'm always taking things away and adding stuff but like for me, it's just a vibe, especially at nighttime. Like at nighttime, all my red lights come on and you can just see the plants like over there, kind of like dancing in a humidifier. And it's just a feel good vibe, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, I just love my creative space and I think it's just so important and it makes it so easy for me to stay working for a good amount of time because I actually enjoy being in my creative space. Like waking up every morning and coming in and turning on the light and watering my plants and feeding my fish and feeding the squirrels. Like, oh my God, in the summertime, it's just amazing because it's like, I get all this nature in my creative space and it just adds on. Like in the summertime, in the spring, I lift up all my windows. I feed the birds, I hear the birds, I feed the squirrels. I get to see them while I'm doing my thing. And it's just literally like I'm reminding myself of like snow white right now but it's like i really just think it just adds to the you know the jaguar of you know your working at home experience another thing that's needed for me and i mean it's not needed but again it adds to just the energy and the vibe it's music like and not even has to, it don't even have to be music music like sometimes i like to come in my office and turn on like coffee house beats and lo-fi beats and just vibe out it just kind of gives me like in this very 
relaxing state and it just helps with my work it just it relaxes me and makes the, the work day very smooth and easy like try it one day when you go into your office light you a candle and youtube some coffee house music or jazz lounge type of instrumentals and just like chill out because sometimes you want to break from like actual music with words and music that you know sometimes you just want like a nice dope spa like coffee house tune happening in the background so try that out um if you don't have a fireplace in your office youtube um fireplace and it'll be a dope fireplace on your laptop so you can have with nice crackles in the back girl so you can have that while you're working this is all again aesthetic but again it just adds to you know it adds to the the vibe and the energy of your work day and that is just as important so music candles um incense things that smell good um is so important Another thing that is a must for me is my whiteboard. Y'all know I used to be a planner girl and I still love my planners, but I am such a visual person. Like I literally need to see the date and what I need to do with my face almost at all times for me to visually like see it. And the only thing that I don't like about a planner is that I have to physically go get a book and open it up to see it. So like when I wake up and go into my creative space, my office, the first thing I see is my whiteboard. And I love my whiteboard because I, I write on it in a way that it makes sense to me and it, it gets my attention. And it's literally the first thing that I wake up and look at every single day to see what I have to do um, and what I have going on that week and what I want to do and accomplish that week. I find that I get more things done with my whiteboard and having it dead in my face, like what I have to do. Like when I'm in my office, I'm constantly looking at it like, okay, what's next, what's next? I feel like I just check things off my list a lot better when I have my whiteboard. It just, it changed the game up for me. Like once I got my whiteboard, I was like, uh, planner who? I like my planner now when it comes down to like future things. But I love me a good um, sticky note, my whiteboard, and call it one. I just love it. Um, also, I think it's very important because I got one of these to get like an actual visual calendar. Like for me, I have a cute little calendar thing on my desk and every night I change it for the next day so every anytime I look over I could remember what day it is what date it is because I mean y'all when you work from home and like especially with this pandemic and all that's been going on like all these days start to run together like literally the only thing that was keep making me keep track of days was when I used to work now it's like I don't work for anyone and I don't have the clock in or I don't have no reason to really remember it sounds crazy I hope I'm not alone but so it's like I need to constantly check to see okay what day it is what day it is what date is it you know what I'm saying I find when I look on my phone for the time or the date the moment I see a notification I become distracted or I feel like I gotta answer it right then and there so to stop myself from picking up my phone throughout my day to check what day it is or the time um, and then get distracted by notifications I just make sure I have something on my desk or physically where it has a calendar it has the day give me my whiteboard give me a visual calendar I'm good I don't have to check my phone for a minute because the key is low key <laughs> look the key is low key you don't want to have to pick up your phone all the time and lately y'all know we be like what time is it? what time is it? what time is it uh what's today what's today what's today get you a calendar that's like right dead in front of your face on your office desk girl so you always know without looking at your phone these are things that I actually really need um that actually really like the other stuff that i just named is all kind of like aesthetics um and they're all like i said necessary because it feeds my creativity it feeds my motivation and my inspiration and just make me feel good and in order to have a good work day pop up with ideas and things like that you gotta feel good you know what i'm saying you, you when you work for yourself the dope part about working for yourself is that you can create the vibe you want to create if i want to go in my office one day and turn on a red light special pour me a mimosa and work damn near in the dark i can do that 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because if that's what's gonna make me feel good, that's, the, that's what I'm gonna do. Everything I'm about to name now is things that I actually really need and that you may need also if you work from home, um, whether it be you work from home and you have a business and you do orders, especially if you do your own orders and stuff. One thing that is a must and that I need to just get through work, period, is just my printers, all my printers. From my label printer, which is a must, I have my label printer, and if you follow my Instagram, you probably see me often just giving you a good B-roll of just the orders, the orders flowing out of my printer. And baby, when I tell you that changed the game up for me because before, when I was printing out my orders, I was printing it out from my regular printer and literally taking like some designer scissors and just cutting each each label and put taping, like taking tape off and, and taping each corner on the package. It was like, it took up so much of my time, y'all. It took up so much of my time. And now literally all the orders roll out at once. They're all peel and stick peel and stick no cutting no extra tape no you know it getting wet from the weather and being ruined like y'all if you do orders from home please invest in you a printer label that changes the game up it just makes things so much more easier so much more convenient and so much more faster and of course you want to have your laptop and a regular printer all those three things is like literally the heart not even the heart of my business i think my product is the heart of my business but my printer and my laptop and my label printer is like the brain of my business like those things are just things i absolutely need to make my business run smoothly. Like I definitely could not sacrifice, I could not imagine. And if you have to, you gonna do what you gotta do, baby, do what you gotta do until you ain't gotta do it no more, okay? But baby, I would hate to have to go to the library every single day to print out orders every single day. Like it can be nine at night. If I feel like dealing with an order, I can just go to the back, print it out, get it ready, boom. I don't have to leave my house. Oh, y'all, it feels good. Anyway, y'all, it's about to go in next. my product display shelf y'all this was just something like i didn't necessarily need this but in a, in, in, then again i think i did need it but just a product display shelf i just think it adds like a cute character to the room it's also obviously storage to hold your products while also showing your products as if you was like at a store you know what i mean and it makes it feel legit and i just love like once my shelf it's like all full with products and I just look at it and I'm like, wow, that's my shit. So I just think having like a cute display area that just creates a cute vibe and ambiance of your products or your crafts or your arts or what you're selling. Um, not only is it aesthetically dope, but when it's time to pack everything, it's so much easier to get to. And you know, as I pack orders, I just go to my uh, display shelf and just pick things up and go, you know? Um, another thing that is important to me is just any organizers. I think that's a self-explanatory. You want to make sure everything is clean. You want to make sure everything is sanitized. And in order to do that, you have to have everything organized. In order to check on inventory, you have to have everything organized, everything together. So you want to have folders. You want to have cabinets. You want to have shelves. You want to have, you know, little containers, holders, just every everything should have its place um it just makes work a lot smoother when everything has its place so organizers storages get some babe because it's going to make life easier when you just know where everything is and you don't have to look around for anything so that's amazing and then it makes it so that your office and your creative space isn't just cluttered you know what i mean when you have everything just nice and organized 
another thing that is a must for me is having two tables inside of my office so I have my office desk which is the desk that I have my computer on um, do all my paperwork on and things like that so it's usually my cleaner desk and then I have my production desk and my production desk is where I make everything it's where I make my glosses It's where I make my oils It's where things can get a little messy <laughs> but it's needed and it's very sturdy and nice because y'all when I used to have just one desk like the clean up was real like cleaning that mess all day every day because the moment I put a piece of paper on my production and y'all gloss sticks for a minute it don't just be coming off like oil like that stuff be lingering just a little bit so if I put like a receipt paper on the table the oil will still get on the receipt y'all like back in the day so I was like, okay, now. Nah. So I would have to do my receipts and stuff somewhere else. And it was just too much. So now having two separate tables where I do one thing over here, where I'm, I'm boss lady, you know, owner, CEO over here. But over here, I am creator. I am production mode. You know, I'm in the factory getting down and dirty. So I love that. I need that. Another thing, oh my God. Another thing I need, it's a must, is my machine. The machine that I use to make my oils and my rose water. Y'all, if y'all only knew how far I came. I used to use syringes, like regular syringes. Put some gloves on, use syringes, and pour in each bottle one by one by one. I used to do that tired beat, y'all. Tired beat. You hear me? And it's a beautiful, amazing, amazing follower of mine, someone that is just so dear to me because I just will never forget it. Um, she purchased me this amazing machine, and when I say it makes life so much easier, I still have to do some handwork, but when I say it makes life so much easier, I can make more product, I can make it faster, it's more convenient without me getting tired. When I say Oh my God, it really changed the game of y'all because I was tired. Just making product alone takes time. Like, you are literally everything. I wear all the hats, y'all. All the hats. Another thing that just is a must and a need, I love personalizing everything that I do from the receipts to the packaging. I love stickers, I love highlighters. So you want to have just all your little office supplies. You want stickers, you want highlighters, you want bubble wrap, you want staplers, you want stamps, you want just everything that kind of make just your office situation, your office portion and your shipping portion of your workday just cute and fun and personalized. So highlighters, stickers, uh, make sure you have a stapler, make sure you have some white out, make sure you just have all your necessities um, that just makes office work a lot better. So usually this box is filled with all type of stickers, but I have to re-up, but I usually keep all type of ranges of thank yous and fragiles and cuteness. But this is an important sticker. Make sure you go to Amazon and purchase you some fragile stickers because the post office don't really be putting them on there. And they always say they're going to put it in their system that is fragile. But we all know that the post office or the postal people not looking at no notes, okay? So do yourself a favor. Just get you some fragile stickers for cheap. I have all type of different ones. I usually get pink ones, cute ones for the boxes so that I can put as many as I want on every single package and wherever I want so yes keep your little box of nice stickers So to you, this may look like just a regular blue bag, but to me, it really signifies how far I've come with my shop. I remember when I first started, I would ship out maybe five to 10 packages a day, and I would put them in tote bags or grocery store bags. And then I got to a point where I had more orders and I would put them in those like nice smelling lavender garbage bags, but it was super uncomfortable. That garbage bag holding all the weight of the packages from that little string was super duper rough. 
But then I got to a point in my shop where I was like, you know what? I deserve a decent run to the store post office bag. So I got these off of Amazon. It comes with six. I keep one in my car and in my house and in my babe's car. And um, I love them because they're super spacious. They're super deep. I have like tons of boxes, thick envelopes, regular envelopes in here. It can hold so much at one time. And not only that, it's super duper comfortable. I am small. I'm 5'2", 127, 130 on a good juicy day. And this doesn't hurt me. It doesn't make going to the post office a struggle. So again, I love it because it's super convenient, super spacious, and it constantly reminds me how far I've come in my shop and I think it's important that we always have those gentle reminders that we are growing and that we are doing a damn thing because sometimes you forget okay sometimes you forget and you need that reminder and just seeing the fact that I came from a tote bag to this it's crazy So that's all I'm gonna do for now. If there's a part two, I'm gonna do a part two because my 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 um, camera is about to die. So I kind of gotta rush a little bit. But let me know if you work from home, even if you don't run a business, but you work from home, let me know some things that's just a must have for you. Like my babe, she's a tech, she works from home. She needs multiple screens in front of her at all times. So that's a must for her. It's not necessarily a must for me, but for her and her job, it's a must that she has like several different screens in front of her face at all times. So she can do th things on one screen, do something else on another. She's a tech. That's what they do. Just let me know what's needed for you. Like plants may not be needed for everybody else, but it's needed for me. Uh, nature, fish tanks, that may not be needed for everybody else, but it's needed for me. And I just hope you guys enjoy this video. I do have to rush a little bit, but I hope I cover everything. I think I cover almost everything, but if not, I'll find some cute way to still add it. But again, let me know in the comments below with some things that you need when you work from home or run your business from home. I love you guys oh so much, y'all, to bomb.com. And I will see y'all when I see y'all. Until next time. Bye.